Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, yep. Detecting steganography oh, changes the video. in images using machine learning. Speaker Denisiuk Dimitro, Khmelnytsky National University. Dessert 2023, the 13th International IEEE Conference Dependable Systems, Services and Technologies, 13 to 15 October 2023, Athens, Greece. Let's talk about the mechanisms of information transmission through images. Contents, introduction, methods of detecting stenographic changes, motivation, the aim of the study, main results, case study, onclusions. There are many ways to transfer information over the network, including files, music, and pictures. Some of these methods of transmitting information can display the information openly, meaning that the content is easily accessible and readable to anyone who has access to it. But there are cases when it is necessary to transmit information in a closed form, while maintaining confidentiality and secrecy. For this purpose, file encryption methods are used, but this approach can reveal the fact that the file content has been modified. But there is another interesting approach, hiding information in other types of files, such as images. Instead of directly displaying text in a picture, you can use the steganography method. This makes it possible to hide textual information in an image so that an ordinary user cannot detect the presence of this text. But there is another interesting approach, hiding information in other types of files, such as images. Instead of directly displaying text in a picture, you can use the steganography method. This makes it possible to hide textual information in an image so that an ordinary user cannot detect the presence of this text. To study the field of steganography, an analysis of various methods was carried out, including both methods of hiding information and methods of detecting steganography. The purpose of steganography is to hide information in such a way that it remains invisible to an ordinary observer. The most popular methods of steganography include the following. LSB, least significant bit. This method consists of replacing the less significant bits, usually the last ones, in the container with the bits of the hidden message. The main goal is to make the difference between the original and modified containers invisible to the human eye. PVD, pixel value difference. This method takes into account that changes in pixel values will be less noticeable in smooth areas where the brightness hardly changes compared to areas where there are large brightness differences. GLM, gray level modification. The GLM method changes the luminance level of black and white pixels. Each pixel of the image is embedded with one bit of a hidden message, but in such a way that it is not noticeable to human perception. MPV, mid-position value. In this method, the Arnold transform is first applied to the container image, then the position of each pixel is calculated and the hidden message is embedded. These methods provide different approaches to steganography, and their choice depends on specific conditions and requirements. The main mechanism of steganography is to modify the image pixels using appropriate algorithms that ensure the security and concealment of information in the container. We also investigated ways to detect steganography in images, including the following. Analysis of statistical methods. These approaches aim to look for even the slightest changes in the statistical characteristics of a file that may result from steganography embedding. They examine image parameters, such as mean and variance, in detail to identify any unusual anomalies compared to the expected statistical distribution. A method of estimating the number of transitions of lowest bit values between neighboring elements of a container, this approach uses information about the correlation between the lowest bits of neighboring elements and other bits of natural containers. It is aimed at detecting deviations that may occur when using steganography. A method of analyzing histograms based on the frequencies of image elements, this method allows you to assess the uniformity of the distribution of elements in the analyzed image and determine the frequency of occurrence of specific elements. These methods provide tools for detecting steganographic changes, but each of them is most effective when working with a specific steganographic method. Therefore, all possible steganography methods require a comprehensive solution for effective detection of. The motivation for the study was the need to protect web resources from images that may contain steganographic modifications. 
a new type of attack on web servers has been discovered. The essence of this attack is that attackers embed malicious code into a web server without using traditional methods of code obfuscation and direct control of this code. They use steganography to control this code through encrypted commands. Today, modern antivirus systems are able to detect code obfuscation in applications quite quickly. However, malicious code that uses obfuscation is visually indistinguishable from normal code, which makes it difficult for both antiviruses and programmers to detect. A picture that contains steganographically hidden resources and commands for the server, as well as instructions on where to send the collected information, allows the attacker to hide his information quite effectively and remain anonymous. Therefore, the main goal of this study was to develop an algorithm for detecting steganographic changes that would meet the following important requirements, improving detection efficiency. One of the key goals of this research is to improve the efficiency of the process of detecting steganographic alterations in images. The algorithm should be able to detect even the most subtle traces of embedded information and alterations. Reduce time. Another important goal is to reduce the time it takes to detect steganographic alterations. An effective algorithm will allow detecting changes faster, which is important for operational the development of such an algorithm is aimed at improving the security of web resources and ensuring timely detection of potential threats caused by steganography. As a result of this study, we have obtained valuable information and a comparative table that evaluates the effectiveness of methods for detecting steganographic changes in images. This table includes different steganography methods and different datasets that were used to train neural networks. The comparison table allows us to understand which steganography methods were the most vulnerable to detection and which datasets were the most informative for training neural networks. This information is important for further research and development of security measures in the field of steganography and detection of possible threats. The resulting table can serve as an important resource for developers and researchers working in the field of cybersecurity, as well as for those studying and developing methods for detecting steganographic changes in digital images. It can help optimize the detection and protection against steganographic attacks in networks and web resources. During the study, an algorithm was developed to check images for steganographic changes. This algorithm includes the following steps, input image. The initial stage where the image to be checked for steganographic alterations is obtained, split image. This stage divides the image into blocks that will be analyzed separately, block analysis. Each block or part of the image is analyzed for steganographic changes, analysis of the results. At this stage, the results of the block analysis are combined and an overall assessment of the presence of steganographic changes in the image is determined. Result The final stage, where the final result of the check is issued. If the algorithm detects the presence of steganographic alterations, it can be displayed as a detection or marked as a suspicious area in the image, the result can be useful for determining the degree of reliability of the image and identifying possible anomalies that may be caused by steganographic activity. The input image is the initial object to be checked for the presence of a transcript, hidden information. To achieve optimal performance of the algorithm, input images are limited to JPG, JPEG and PNG formats, as these formats are the most common and widely used in digital images. In the next step, the algorithm creates an array that contains the characteristics of each pixel in the image. These characteristics include X, Y, pixel coordinates. The coordinates indicate the location of each pixel in the image. They are used to identify the position of pixels on the image plane, R, G, B, color channel values. For each pixel, the red, R, green, G, and blue, B, color channels are recorded, which determine the color of that pixel. This data is necessary for further analysis of the image color, A, alpha channel value, the alpha channel determines the transparency of a pixel. It is important for images with an alpha channel where pixels may be partially transparent, this array of information allows the algorithm to further analyze each pixel of the image in detail to detect possible steganographic changes or hidden information in the image. Image partitioning is an important part of the algorithm and includes a mechanism for dividing the image into several matrix blocks for further verification for steganographic changes. This process can be explained as follows. Splitting mechanism, the image is divided into matrix blocks, 
where each block is a specific area in the image that will be analyzed separately. The partitioning is performed in order to process the image into smaller parts to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the analysis. Number of matrix blocks The number of matrix blocks in an image can be calculated using the formula K equals W, S, H, S, where W represents the width of the image in pixels, H represents the height of the image in pixels. And S indicates the block size to be checked, target block size. The size of the block to be checked can be selected according to the requirements and capabilities of the algorithm. Typically, smaller blocks allow for more detailed image analysis, but can increase the computational load. Dividing the image into blocks allows the algorithm to analyze each part separately, which makes it easier to detect steganographic changes or hidden information in the image. The number and size of blocks can be set according to the specific requirements and objectives of the study. Block analysis is an important step in the algorithm and involves the use of a convolutional neural network. Neural networks are a type of neural network that is specifically designed to analyze images and identify patterns and characteristics in them. The main steps of block analysis include the following. Input data, each individual block of the image is fed as input to the convolutional neural network. Each block contains information about the colors and structure of the image. Convolutional neural network, CNN, a convolutional neural network is used to analyze each block individually. This network identifies patterns and features in the image that may indicate the presence of steganographic changes. Change detection, a convolutional neural network analyses each block to detect any steganographic changes or suspicious patterns that may indicate hidden information. Convolutional neural networks are a powerful tool for image analysis and can detect complex patterns and changes in large datasets. This approach helps to improve the efficiency of detecting steganographic changes and provides a higher level of accuracy in image analysis. The analysis of the results is an important stage in the algorithm and involves the evaluation and processing of the data obtained during block analysis to determine the likelihood of image modification. This stage takes into account various parameters and indicators that indicate the possible presence of hidden information or the use of steganography in the analyzed image. The main aspects of the results analysis include identification of steganographic changes, analysis of block parameters and convolutional neural network results to identify features that may indicate possible image modification, determination of the degree of modification probability, based on the identified features, and parameters. The degree of probability that the image has been modified using steganography is calculated, the level of confidence in the conclusion, it is important to consider the level of confidence in the results of the analysis. It can be determined on the basis of statistical indicators and the significance of the identified features, further use of the results, the results of the analysis can be used to make decisions about the further use of the analyzed image, including determining its correspondence to the original or identifying possible risks and threats. This stage is crucial for understanding and interpreting the results of image analysis, as well as for making decisions related to further steps in relation to the analyzed image. Within the framework of an image analysis system, a result is defined as a module that contains important information about the degree of change in an image and the probability of modification of that image. Additionally, this module includes a matrix containing the analysis blocks and showing which part of the image has been changed as well as the level of change in each individual block. This information helps the user to understand how significant the detected changes are and how they affect the meaning and value of the analyzed image. Further research will focus on the ability to classify steganographic changes in an image. This means that we will be able to recognize the type of information transmitted in the image. An additional component of the method will be a subsystem that will allow us to analyze which steganographic method was used to encrypt the image so that its further decoding becomes possible. This extension will allow it not only to detect the presence of steganography, but also to reveal the methods by which this steganography is applied, which is of great importance in the field of cybersecurity and criminal investigation. Thank you. Okay. Questions?
Thanks for the presentation. Unfortunately, it was a video, but nevertheless, uh, dear attendees of the session, do we have any questions to authors? Okay, seems there are any questions. So um, thank you, and uh, we're going to the next presentation.